Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. Today we'll be taking a look at the Offset Entities tool, which is pretty similar to both Convert Entities and Silhouette Entities. It can be used for a lot of the same reasons as the others, but you can take into account any gap or, well, offset that you might encounter. It can also be used to keep one cross-sectional shape throughout a loft path, but with different sizing, which is what I'll be showing throughout today and tomorrow's video. You can definitely do this with much more complex geometry, but I'm just using circles to get the point across. In this example, we'll be using this sketch in the middle and offsetting it to create our sketches in these other planes. You won't see an end product in this though, since this is more of a setup for tomorrow's video where I'll loft to single points. So let's get started with this. I'm going to click on this plane and create a new sketch. I'll grab the offset entities tool and select this sketched circle. It shows this yellow outline of where it'll place the new sketch. I want the line on the outside like it is, but I only want it 0 0.025 inches away. I'll type that in here. I'll do basically the same on this other plane, except this line is on the wrong side for what I want. To fix that, I'll just check the reverse box. I want this to be slightly farther away, so I change this from 0.1 inches to 0.2 inches. That looks right, so I hit the green check mark. Thanks for watching. Contact us with any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.